News 6's Troy Campbell is live at the sheriff's office tonight. And Troy, you spoke to someone tonight who saw a deputy investigating one of these break-ins. Ginger, that woman tells us that she shows up to that Sunrail station every day and she parks her car there. But this morning when she showed up, she saw investigators from the Orange County Sheriff's Office there collecting evidence. We also spoke with a woman who says her car was broken into. I noticed my vehicle was vandalized. The driver's side window was smashed in. Not wanting to show her identity, the owner of this white Chevy pickup tells News 6, this morning when she showed up to the Meadowwood Sunrail Station, deputies were already on scene. The woman says a couple years ago, this same truck was also broken into while parked at the Sunrail Station on Sand Lake Road. Between the cost of the window and loss of wages, uh, this incident cost me close to $750 today. Less than five miles away, over at the UPS employee parking lot on the 8,000 block of Atlantic Avenue, workers were cleaning up broken glass scattered throughout the area after several vehicles were broken into early this morning. An employee told News 6 several cars were also broken into previously and firearms are among the items stolen. Money, people leave their phones, their birds in their cars, I've seen it. Sunrail rider Carmen Santiago says she saw deputies when she arrived to park early this morning. So I park every day and I'm, you know, I know it's gonna get dark and so are we going to be safe coming here at night or getting in here in the morning when it's dark? Again, in total, the sheriff's office says as many as 60 vehicles were broken into. At this point, it's still unclear if they were able to review any surveillance video in the area or if they have any other lead on a suspect or suspects. Live in Orange County tonight, Troy Campbell getting results. News 6. Troy, thank you.